Right, hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a lovely copy of um, Donkey Kong Country 2 on the Super Nintendo, which I believe is faulty. I have not tested it yet because um, it's only just turned up, but we have a nice clean SNES here, which I need to get around to testing. So I'm gonna plug that in. Pan up here, around to our telly, and turn it on. And yeah, it doesn't do anything. I mean, what I could do is give that a little clean like that, and we're still not getting anything. So it would be a good idea if I grabbed another snake game just to make sure <sighs> that um, it works. So let's chuck in Star Fox. Yep. So we've got Star Fox working, but this is just a black screen. So let's chuck the SNES out of the way. And let's get back in. Let's see what we can do with this little game cartridge. Now somewhere to hand, I should have a game bit, lovely. Let's get this open. Yep, it's an original cartridge, it isn't um, a knockoff. It does feel quite sticky on here, so that's not good. Can we see anything untoward? Apart from it being really ugh. Nasty and sticky. No. So yeah. Um I'm going to try and um reflow all the pins on this. So the soldering iron is heated up. I like that one. I want a bit more on which one?
top. So, that's all of the chips reflowed. Let's see if it's done anything. I mean, it's always worth just starting with the easiest things first. Big fat no still. Hmm. Well, that's a bugger. Um, just out of curiosity, um, I have a Super Famicom here. Just want to make sure that no one's been a silly bugger and has swapped around the shell or something for some unknown import game. Works. That's the one we fixed in the video a uh, short while back. He says, oh, it did work. <laughs> Maybe that game. Yeah. Well, that one still works. So it doesn't look like it's a, uh, a random import in there. So that's kind of good. But we do now need to start tracing things out with the multimeter to see if there is a problem. So that can come back apart. And I guess I better see if all these go to where they're supposed to go. Right, as always, this stupid multimeter. Wants to be a nuisance. So we'll start here. And the next 
next one. Good. You. Yep. You. Yep. You. That should go there. goes underneath somewhere. That one goes to there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you can see the potential problem. There is some corrosion here. Okay. That's interesting. Let's um zoom in a bit. So that's supposed to go up to there. I think we've found a break. Hmm. <clears throat> right, so you. Marvellous. That is almost beyond repair. Almost, not quite. Because there should be enough there. Just about to um get a bit of a solder and uh, an old um <clears throat> leg from 
an LED. So if I try and bend this into shape, I need it to be about there. Wow, couldn't have made that up if I'd tried. But I do need to um, trim it right down. <clears throat> the world's biggest pair of pizza scissors. And then let's get some proper tweezers, not the old scabby things. And That will go on there. Tip top, let's get that to one side. Um, I'm going to get some flux on there. Clean the tip of the iron. there so I suppose now Let's just get this stupid device back into yep, BP mode. Oh look, it beeps now. Um, okay. Let's give it a bit of a clean up. really would like is a brand new board but that's not going to happen I suppose I could buy a Japanese copy of the game and swap all the chips around but um, I'm sure that someone out there 
has made a replacement um, PCBs for these. So I'll have a look for one of those later. But we're going, we are getting ahead of ourselves because obviously even though that one is fixed, um, nothing has been tested yet. So without further ado, without further ado, let's move these to the side. Chuck some multimeter back on the floor. Yeah, because that is a bit too fat. But we're here to see if it works first, aren't we? We can tidy up afterwards. There's no point tidying it up if it doesn't work. Yes! Okay, so that does work. Problem I now have is the case doesn't fit properly. So I need to do something about that. Just can't very well leave it like that. How are we going to make you tiny? Tiny. Hmm. Thing is, if I tidy this up, there's a good chance I can break what I've already done. But if I don't tidy up, well, it doesn't fit. Stupid multimeter. So it does still work. How does the case fit now? Interesting.
I'm going to go with it being this one. Which goes da -da 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 to there. Okay. That now goes through there. Yes, yes, good. Let's have a little bit of solder. Kind of fold it over. Flux on, and hopefully, we'll get some solder to stick to that. in place and now what I'm going to do is remove what I've done earlier and try to attach this Well, it's on there. Let's try this again. Yes, right, that still works. The case closes, but we need to make this more of a, um, a permanent fixture. So, 
Let's get the captain tape out. Stick a little bit of this on there so that it does not move. If I haven't stuck it over there, what I'm going to do there is somewhere here I've got some lacquer, PCB lacquer, and if I can see it I will spray a little bit in a dish and put it on. If I can't, I'm going to have a nervous breakdown, I think, because I, I don't know where anything is in this building anymore. Everything has gone and just been moved. And, ugh. Right. Uh, do you want to know where it was? Right next to my chair. And breathe. Well, what can I spray the lacquer in or onto? that isn't of any use. Um, let's have a little cardboard box. Oh shit. I really don't want it to leak on the new mat. Well, hopefully that's dried up because, uh, yeah, you're going back in your case already. You're going on because I need to get on the way home. I've just finished that um, OLED switch this evening and, wow, did that take some time and mental acuity not to destroy it but somehow it managed to survive so there you go as always don't do what i do in these videos this is purely for the entertainment of watching me maybe or probably not repair something but this time we have something half good so let's plug you in let's plug you in and let's see if it still works I nearly turned off the recording. Yes. Perfect. So, Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy Kong's Quest is now working. And I've also managed to work out that this SNES works. I just needed to test it, really. So, uh, I think that's going to do it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Take care. Bye.